This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. Welcome back. Um, I'm now going to answer question number three from the June stroke October 2020 International A Level Head Excel paper. And this question here is about the remainder theorem. Um, and it's ask, telling us about a function f of x equals ax cubed minus x squared plus bx plus 4, where a and b are constants. It told us when f of x is divided by x plus 4, the remainder is minus uh, 108. Use the remainder theorem to show that 16a plus b equals 24. So basically, if f of x okay, um, divided Oops, what happened there? Let me just change the pen for a second. Sorry about that. Okay, so if f of x divided by x plus 4 is minus 108, that means that f if whatever makes this bracket zero so if it says x plus four if x plus four equals zero x equals minus four f minus four will be equal to 108 that's how you set it up so whatever makes this bracket zero okay if you substitute that into the f of x it will give you minus 108 minus 108 be very careful um, as a remainder okay so we take minus four and substitute it inside the function we have a times minus 4 cubed minus minus 4 squared plus minus 4 times I'll put it this way first b times minus 4 so you have plus b times minus 4 um, plus 4 is equal to negative 108 okay so now minus 4 cubed is minus 64 a minus that's going to be 16 because that's going to be positive 16 minus 16 minus 4b plus 4 equals minus 108 let's make a bit of space here <clears throat> and then it's basically you have to show what we have to show that um, 16a plus b equals 24 okay so let's just rearrange this first we've got minus 64a uh, minus 4b and minus 12 equals minus 108 so you got a uh, minus 64a minus 4b equals minus 108 plus 12 minus 108 plus 12 so you have minus 108 plus 12 that's going to give you minus 96 minus 96 and if we divide everything by negative 4 hopefully we'll get what we want here um, because you can see we won't end up with everything positive so divide by minus 4 64 over 4 is 16 so that's positive 16 a minus 4 divided by minus 4 is 1 so that's plus b and minus 6 divided by minus 4 is 24. that's right because 4 into 9 goes two times remainder 1 uh, yep, yeah, that's correct. So we've we've shown what we have to show. So you have to be careful here to show your steps very clearly, okay? Um, because they've already told you what it should be. So you have to show your steps kind of clearly here. Don't just write this and then the answer. You have to show how you got there, okay, to get the marks properly for that question. Now part B says, given also that 2x minus 1 is a factor of f of x, um, find the value of a and the fa find the value of b. Okay, so as I said before, 2x minus 1 equals 0, so x equals a half. So that means when I uh, substitute f half into the function, it's going to give me 0 because it's a factor. It's a factor of it. That means when you divide the function f of x by 2x minus 1, you're going to get a remainder of 0. Okay, so the remainder is going to be 0, so that's the factor theorem now. So we've got to substitute f half into the same equation, which was ax cubed ax cubed so f of x is ax cubed um, minus x squared plus bx plus 4 just make sure yeah so we got to put a half into here so f 
put a half into here, you're going to have a times a half cubed minus a half squared plus b times a half plus 4. This time it equals 0. So now we can make another equation. This is going to be 1 over 8a minus 1 over 4 plus a half b plus 4 equals 0. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to multiply everything by 8 to get rid of the fraction. Okay, so this will become a minus 2 plus 4b plus 32 equals 0. So I end up with a plus 4b, um, that's going to be plus 30, so equals minus 30. a plus 4b equals minus 30. And now I can solve this equation because I have the first equation. I have 16a plus uh, 16a plus b equals 24, and I've got a plus 4b equals minus 30. Okay, so if I so if I multiply this top equation by 4, okay, I can then make the denominator. I can make the uh, b terms the same. So that's 64a plus 4b equals, that's going to be 80 plus 16, that's 96. And this is going to be a plus 4, well, I can just subtract them from here. Okay, so I can just subtract these. Uh, if I subtract them, I'm left with 63a is equal to 96 minus minus 30, which is 126. So a is going to be, I think that's going to be 2, isn't it? 126 divided by 63 is 2. And that works out. That gives us a nice number to kind of be rest assured that we are correct. So a equals 2. And then we can say that, therefore, if we can take this b equals 24 minus 16a. So b equals 24 minus 32. 24 minus 32 is going to give you uh, minus, let's just make sure, 24 minus 32, it's going to give you minus 8. Okay, so we have um, A equals 2 and B equals negative 8. And what else does it say? That's it. Okay, so then it says... Um, find f dash of x okay so we need to write down f of x is first we've got ax cubed minus x squared plus bx plus 4 so we've got f of x equals ax cubed um, minus x squared plus bx plus 4 minus x squared plus bx plus 4 and we know that a was equal to 2 was it a was equal to 2 and b is equal to minus 8 so a equals 2, b equals negative 8. So we can now write down what our function is. f of x equals um, 2x cubed minus x squared minus 8x plus 4. So now we can work out what f dash of x is, the, the differential of this function. So you've got, you multiply by the power and take one from the power, 6x squared minus 2x. And the x term just loses the x and the constant term becomes 0. So there we have f dash of x that's part c done and now we're asked to do part d where it says find the exact coordinates of the stationary points of the curve with the equation y equals f of x okay so we've got to find the coordinates of the stationary points of this curve so what we can do here is we can the stationary points we know that at stationary points we know that f of x or f dash of x is equal to zero f dash x is equal to 0. That's where the gradient is 0, and that's what they're looking for. Okay, so we know that 6x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0. Um, so that gives us, if I simplify that, just divide by 2, 3x squared minus x minus 4 equals 0. Now we can factorize that to find the x values of the stationary points. Okay, I'm going to use this grid method. You've got 3x squared and minus 4. So I need to put these two numbers as numbers which multiply to give us the same product as minus 12x squared. Same product of these. And the sum has to be 
um, minus 1x. So we've got 3 and 4 again. So you're going to have uh, minus 4x and plus 3x. If I take out the common factor from these two, it's going to be 3x. 3x times x gives me 3x squared, and 3x times plus 1 gives me 3x, and x times minus 4 gives me minus 4x. So I end up with x plus 1 and 3x minus 4 equals 0. So x equals minus 1 and x equals 4 over 3 are the x values. So now we need to find the y values of the stationary points. So we know that f of x equals, the original function f of x is equal to 2x cubed, 2x cubed minus x squared, and it was minus 8x plus 4. And we know that when x equals minus 1, y is going to be 2 times minus 1 cubed, minus minus 1 squared, minus 8 times minus 1, plus 4, which gives me uh, minus 2. And that's going to be minus 1, because you're going to have that becomes plus 1, but you've got minus in front of it, plus 8, and plus 4, which gives you minus 3. 4 minus 3 is 1, plus 8 is 9, so that's going to give you 9. Minus 3 plus 8 is 5, plus 4 is 9, that's right. So one of the stationary points is when x equals minus 1, y equals 9. And the other one when x equals 3, 4 over 3. So when x equals 4 over 3, you can say y equals 2 times 4 over 3 cubed, minus 4 over 3 squared, minus 8 times 4 over 3 plus 4, which equals, I'm just going to stick this in my calculator now, let's put no formula to do that, 2 times 4 over 3, and that's going to be cubed, minus 4 over 3 squared, yep, yeah, minus 8 times 4 over 3 and plus 4 and that gives me minus 100 over 27 just make sure that I put everything right there okay so that means you've got the other point is when x is 4 over 3 y is minus 100 over 27 and there's the that's one stationary point and that's another so those are two answers for the coordinates of the stationary point so when it says coordinates you want both x and y coordinates okay so the exact coordinates so i've left this in exact form without rounding it left in decimal form so there we have the answer to question number three from this paper all to do with the factor and remainder theorems um, and also a bit of differentiation there, finding the stationary points. So on the playlist that, that should appear here, the card at the end or the end screen, you'll find a um, link to the other questions on this paper, which is the June-October 2020 paper. Um, and you'll find another card here which will take you to questions to do with the fact and remainder theorem. And I'll also add it to the, my differentiation um, playlist as well because of this last part and you can subscribe to my channel from this icon somewhere around here and on the top of the screen you'll find a card taking you to another P2 paper that you might be interested in watching. Um, thank you for watching and uh, see you soon.